All right, fellas. Uh, in this segment, I want to talk about uh, my cook box, which you see right here in front of you. Uh, I don't know what size it is, but it rides in the back of the, of the, the Golf, takes up a lot of space. Uh, but it always rides in the back of the Golf, it always takes up a lot of space. Uh, and uh, generally, um, except for this week, uh, I don't leave home without it. So I'm always in a position, because I carry a 4 litre jerry of water in the back with it, uh, in a position to brew up and, uh, you know, uh, supplies allowing, I can make a stew, I can do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, so the heart of the, the heart of this box is this kettle. This is a four and a half litre kettle from Trangia. Um, in my past, uh, uh, I've, uh, I think I've done a short video on that. Uh, it's probably not there anymore after my falling out with YouTube. Um, but the heart of that, of course, is the Trangia 25. And it's just a standard 25, as you can see. It's not hard anodized or anything glamorous. It's the, you know, the entry level job, um, all aluminium, uh, and uh, it's you know, I've pimped it slightly. I've put a one of these on it because I like the stray nails. So I, this is a cutting board. Um, not that I think I've used this one. The 27 I've used a lot. It's very scratched up. But that sits in next in this bag, inside this pot, and that sits in the heart of the, in the heart of the. Now, to get this to run, you have to have a heat source. I do carry a standard uh, Trangia burner but I, and methylated spirits in the back of the car, but I rarely use it. For this application, because you're on the side of the road, you don't know, where, you know what the situation is, I tend to use this. This goes this and this and this, all fit in this little bag, which then fits inside here. So the pan, and uh, this is a thing you get uh, cheaper knockoffs these days. But this is the this is a Trangia original um, butane propane burner, and uh, it's about I don't know I've had it for at least fifteen years. I'd have thought I've had it since the kids were really small. I remember making hot dogs with it when they were just not much older than toddlers. So that's going back some time. So that's what I tend to use. I always carry a big canister. And I've always got some things spare floating around in the back of the car uh, in one of the pockets. Now here's the thing, here's a, here's a handy tip for you with regards to these canisters. What I find with my local, the local shop where I bought these and I bought a number of them, they were selling them out, you know, X number for whatever it was, I can't remember. It was some, they're about four, four or five pound a piece. Right. But if you want the small ones that will fit in, say, the 900 mug, they're about four or, 500, four, four or five pound a piece. So I've not used it yet, but I have invested in a piece of kit that allows you to screw it into there, screw it into the other one, and basically refill the small one. So I bought a small one, I've bought two small ones, um, one to run, one for spare, and then when the <coughs> When one's empty, then I can refill it off these. But for this purpose, I always carry a big one. No mucking around. Make sure you've got plenty so you don't run out. That said, in the interest of not running out, I also carry one of these. Now this is a this allows you to convert camping gas or butane canisters to uh, whatever that fitment is on that one there. So it'll run your Trangia burner or any other isobutane um, stove with that sort of fitting. And for some reason that I can't explain, I seem to have two of them. If you're gonna go out and get one of these, and I do reckon, I think they're a really good idea. It's a nice little bit of standby. Don't bother with these wings. Um, in my opinion, they're just decoration. They don't serve any purpose. Because they're meant to sort of stand the bottle up so it looks terribly sort of, you know, I don't know, and it's Shackleton or something, but it doesn't actually do that because by the time you screw it, put it all together and screw it in, you can't orientate the bottle with it. So pointless, just, just buy the standard ones uh, and get the sort of more compact version. Not, there's, there's others that look sort of shinier and brighter colored, but they're actually very poorly made. Uh, the, the, the fitment of the bottle is kind of loose and rattling, which you don't want if you're dealing with gas. Right, I then carry 
a standard issue I carry four of these um, Swedish mugs uh, they're made by Wilco they're not original army ones I did buy some army ones but they're so knocked about I was very annoyed they're so old and smelly that I, I never used them uh, a pair of work gloves a variety of utensils I bought I got these in France in the supermarket. Um, didn't get those in. Didn't get those in the supermarket. Uh, knife, fork, and spoon. Just the one big solid um, military issue, NATO issue. Uh, a large ferrocerium rod, hardly used because I'm always packing a cigarette lighter and probably a box of matches. Um, <clears throat> tea, coffee. My tea kettle and a uh, air press with a stainless steel filter, reusable filter. <coughs> that way, you can do the uh, sort of grenade launcher thing. Squeeze off the the filter and fire the coffee into the long grass, and the job's done. Yeah, okay. Some ants might get absolutely stoned off their face, but um, it's entirely by nobody's going to nobody's even going to see it. It's just going to disappear into the soil. As I say, tea, coffee, um, powdered milk. I am not, uh, I don't drink milk. I probably shouldn't eat dairy, but I do sometimes, cheese and things, but I don't drink milk. Don't take milk in any of my uh, beverages. You know, I take my tea and coffee straight along with my whiskey. Um, dash of water, maybe. Uh, but my wife, her, my beloved, she loves her milk. And so, uh, this is the solution. This is two cows, it's made in the Netherlands, I think. It doesn't, it doesn't go sour, you know, in the length of time I've kept it stored. Uh, it doesn't spill, it doesn't make a mess, it stays dry, uh, and it is very, very good. You will be lucky if uh, you find anybody who can tell the difference, then uh, they're doing really, really well. We have a very developed palate. Right, and then finally, uh, the Outrider. Uh, from Victorinox rides in the bottom. I uh, will talk about this separately along with the Alaskan. Um, but it did good service. So, so that's it. That's my cook box. We used that uh, above the uh, landing beaches uh, in the dark uh, to make soup uh, in a gale. We used it uh, at various air de repos on the page um, to make coffee. It's, it covers pretty much all eventualities. I mean, if you wanted to have separate plates, okay, I haven't got separate plates, but you could improvise something, use a frying pan and a saucepan or something. But, uh, generally, you know, when I'm traveling in France, I'm eating, I'm eating fresh bread, so that is my plate. So, there we go. Right, on to the next segment. Talk to you soon.